Hector! Oh, Hector! You're having a good Sunday, mate. I know by the video I seen when you woke up this morning, you were doing like you was having a good Sunday. It looked like you was all in your feelings. <clears throat> really? I wonder why? <laughs> Sausage. Right, listen. Look, Hector, before I go any further, I'm going to say one thing to you. <clears throat> I'm going to say it short and sweet. If you don't want to get wet, you shouldn't play out in the rain. That's it. Numerous occasions, I asked you, on a live, I was asked, if, I was asked on two lives about you, I said, just leave me alone, mate. Just leave me alone. We never had no <coughs> disagreement whatsoever. None of us had a disagreement with you. As far as I was aware, there was none. Then you jumped on your eye horse. You come on your video the other day and said that calling Johnny a rapist does get your views and you can't wait to fight Johnny and he'll do views. Because of the way you went about it in a disrespectful way, you're getting no views. <coughs> How are you doing, my mental health warriors? This is this video, I probably, it's going out, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, but this here, right, right now, is 6 o'clock in the morning. I came out, I biked out. Um, I done my uh, my cliff runs, and then I went into the sea for twenty minutes. I feel fucking fantastic. I feel absolutely fantastic. What a great feeling, guys! What a great feeling. Do you know what I mean? Just getting up, getting out there, and just being the best version of yourself. And do you know what? It's just this is the life. This is the life. And you know, sometimes routine gets boring, but if it keeps you happy, stick to it. I mean, I'm one of these where if I'm in a routine, just say I've got to travel somewhere for a couple of days, it puts me out of routine. So my food times go out of time, routine, my gym goes out of routine. See, I like to eat at certain times, train at certain times, go to sleep at certain times. Once that gets disrupted, then my mind goes a little bit potty. Yeah, this is a quick one. I want to know what the fuck, why the fuck Motorsports Bugwiz is still fucking running around doing good numbers on YouTube. Do you YouTubers not know that Motorsports Bugwiz is a fucking grass, bacon enabling nonce? He's got me mate Fighting Irish's channel shut down. They got defamation strikes against my channel when I was doing Friday Night Fight Club. He's fucking... He's taking advantage of Jam Jambo, he's making Jambo his fucking rent boy because Jambo ain't got no money and he pays J Jambo to keep his caravan bed warm. It's fucking sickening. Yo, he has hit <laughs> rock bottom! Yes, brothers and sisters. Lovers, haters, boys and girls. Vibrations. I hope everybody's well this Monday evening. Yo, he has hit <laughs> rock bottom. Right, so I've seen your video talking some shit. You honestly, mate, really, you need to really, really stop and calm yourself. You know, I'm not. I mean, I don't want to start say that disrespected you, mate. I won't disrespect you. Like you got special needs. I'm not that kind of guy. Then you've come back with a half apology on my cousins that aren't my cousins. I'm not even related to them and I'm the weakest link and I'm this and I'm that. That's fine, Hector, because you've got it wrong. But look, if you want to fight me, Hector, and you don't want me to land, because believe me, believe me, don't take me for a fool, lad. I'm going to be straight with you. I'm far from a fool, mate. I'm far from stupid. I'm not like you. I've lived a life, fella. Trust me. How are you doing, my mental health warriors? I just thought I'd make a little video before I... Uh... <clears throat> taking medication and get to bed, ready for an early morning start again. I just thought I'd let you into my diet. Um, there's quite a few things I want to say, but I'm going to wait till after the Dean fight. Um, like actually, there's something happened that got me into a routine that I'm in now, and I'm actually going to share that with you. So what I do is, I get up at half past five, I have a black coffee, because I do my training and fasted. Then I'll go to the gym, I'll be in the gym for, for what, half past six. I'll come out of the gym, I'll come home, and I'll take my medication. And then I'll have eight egg whites with porridge and peanut butter with blueberries on the porridge. Then, 
I will take some more medication, glutathione, and I'll have a nap. I'll do maybe two and a half, three hours sometimes. I'll wake up and then I'll have rice and chicken. Okay. Once I've done that and that's settled and I've relaxed and chilled out, I'll then normally go on a 16 mile bike ride and do my hill cliffs and then I'll do the cold water method. I come back from that, I take more medication and then I have five rice cakes with salmon on them and eight egg whites. Then what I'll do is that'll be my that'll be a meal and then I'll just relax for the rest of the night, maybe go down to the boxing club, do some rounds on the bag. And my last meal will be porridge on its own, nothing on it, just normal with another eight egg whites. That's the reason I've lost a lot of weight, guys. I've I've it's a high protein diet. I'm obviously you know getting a little bit of carbs in there, but it's the routine and the structure and what I'm doing is I'm following it to a T. I'm not cheating it. I've had no cheat meals. My favourite food's cheesecake. I've had no cheesecakes. I'm not drinking fizzy pop. I'm just drinking five litres of water a day. And I always make sure that I'm drinking a litre before I leave the house. Now before an incident happened, um, I had my bloods taken and I had low potassium in my body. So what happened was my intermittent fasting that I was doing was causing me my low, low potassium. So they told me to come off that and I'm on the, on, the, on the diet that I'm on now and it's working a treat and I feel good, I feel healthy, I feel fit, I feel mentally focused and I'm ready to fight on the Sunday the 19th of June. <laughs>